Hello, my name is A.S. Silverfang, and today, in this lovely afternoon weather, I'm going to bring you my Modolche deck profile. Let's start with the um, main deck first. I'm sorry for not giving you guys any deck profiles lately, it's just I've been building up decks, and I've also been waiting for the September ban list. Luckily, it came um, now or to, to this afternoon, or whenever you guys see the video it came out on the day. But anyway, here we go. We're running one Modolce Putiness. She's your combo piece of the deck. She basically allows you to go into a rank 5 Modolce monster. Now we're running two Modolce Magdalene. We're running her at two because she's her she's the searcher of the deck. Um, she's also a um, combo piece to the OTK. Modolce OTK with um, Seraphonite. And um, yeah, we only run her at two because of that. Next, we're running Triple Angelix. What her effect is, you triple her off and you can special summon Modolce monster from your deck. Which you usually special summon one Hoot Cake, which we're running free of. Now, his effect is you can banish one monster from your graveyard to special summon a Modolce from your deck. You're usually going to special summon the uh, Modolce Pudness, but you can also special summon the Messenger Gelatos, which we're running two of. Min min uh, sorry, Messen min Messenger min Gelato's effect basically says if you control a Modolce Beast type monster, you can special summon any, uh, not special summon, you can grab a Modolce Spell Trap card. And then we're running just the one Mew. Mew's only good for the Mew and Angelic combo. Really good early to mid game, bad at late game. Next we're running the Plant Engine, which is double Lone Fire Blossom, triple uh, Predator Plant Scorpio, Scorpio, and one Predator Plant, Predator Plant Cobra. So basically, I like this ratio a lot. You're playing five basically playing five Scorpios to one Cobra. If you draw a Cobra, then yeah, you're really unlucky. Next, we're running two Gem Knight Garnets. Gem Knight Garnet, running him at two because I don't want to draw him and ended up having a crap ton of dead cards. Anyway, Garnet's not dead in this de uh, deck just because he, you can turn him to 2,400 beat stick with Mrs. Radiant. And then we're running the Trick Cloud and Thousand Blades engine. This is actually really good. There's a there's a dirty move you can do with this with these two cards. And then for the hand traps, we're running two gamma seals. Now, funny funny story about gamma seals. I bought them at ten dollars each. The next day they bumped up to twenty five. I was so lucky of getting them ten dollars each. Um, the other t the hand traps we also play two Ghost Org and Snow Rabbit. I want to run a third because I do play um, emergency, emergency teleport in the deck. So yeah, helps you go into your synchro plays and um, rank free plays. And then the last monster is the one Maxi. I'm playing Maxi because it didn't get hit on this ban list. So that's really good. So that's it for the monsters. For the spells, we're running two chateaus, one ticket. Perfect ratio for Madoshe Madoshe spells, and that's all you need to run for the Madoshe spells. Um, triple Brain Fusion, have to run this at free. This is Madoshe Brain Fusion deck. Double Twin Twisters, this deck doesn't really like back row that much. This deck doesn't like dimensional barriers, it doesn't like strikes and warnings. If they strike and warning one of your combo pieces, you basically have to sit with the monsters of the pieces you have on the field. If you get hit by a dimensional barrow, it doesn't really matter because you can turn all your monsters into beat sticks. Um, double pot of desires. Now, people say to me, why you run pot of desires in a combo based deck? It's just for extra power. I say this, um, they also say, would you banish your pieces? No. If you know how to play Pot of Desires properly in a combo-based deck, you can draw 
the two cards and you won't have to banish any pieces. With Madolche's, it's easy. You only need um, roughly four cards for your four or five cards for your combo, for your main combo, and you can just banish the rest of the pieces off. Now I do run uh, for free po free proxies in this deck because I don't have the cards at the moment. But the first one is Regeki. I'm trying to buy uh, free copies. One for my Madolche's, one for my Light Swans, and one for my third deck that I'm have to finish Psychic so Profile on this channel. And the last spell is the One Emergency Teleport because we're running um, Ghost Orgs. Now, basic trap lineup: Compulse, Bombless, Warning, and two strikes. I don't have two strikes yet, but. Compulse because Compulse is dirty with the Gamma Seals. You can go Gamma Seal your opponent's monster. Com um, activate Compulse. Compulse Gamma Seal back to your hand and you can Gamma Seal again. Bombless Trap Hole because it's Bombless. And the Solemn Set just because it's a Solemn Set. Now for the extra deck, we are running for the Link Monsters. We're running two Mrs. Radiance and one Proxy Dragon. Um, yeah, that's all you need for the Link Monsters. Um, we're running one Chocolate La Mode. Combo, um, our combo of the piece f for the deck. This is how you get Messing Gelato out now with her in Link format. We're running one Queen Tamarasu. Um, I've been playing testing it at two, I usually never use two, usually use one or even none in a game. You can bump it up to two if you want, I'm just leaving out one. We're running one Abyss Dweller, um, Graveyard Effects, one Gaga Samurai, you can turn him into a 2400 beat stick that can attack twice, and we're running the Utopia package. I am also, I've got one space for a extra rank four monster. I right now I'm just tossing up between two cards, maybe three, but I don't know yet. For the rank three package, we're running MX Saver Invoker, one Levier Sea Dragon, and one Phantom Knight's Breaksword. Um, Levier and MX Saver Invoker is strange to me. Before Link Summoning, I was using Levier more than. MX Saber Invoker, but now because Link Summoning has dropped, I've been using MX Saber Invoker more than Levier, which kind of makes sense. Um, and Phantom Mana Break Sword is just to get rid of cards, like make him. You can pop the Dead Burnt Fusion or pop him if you need to to pop another card on your opponent's side of the field. We're running one Fusion, which is the Gen Nazi Raphonite, of course. And then we're running the one Synchro, which is the Black Rose Dragon. Now, Black Rose Dragon has a lot of utility in this deck. You can either use um, her blow up effect, which you can blow up all the cards in the field, and then you can start anew. Or, because we're running plant, the plant engine in this deck, you can just banish a plant type monster and um, target one defense position monster your opponent controls, switch it to attack, and its attack becomes zero. And then you can just beat over it. So that is pretty good. So, yeah, that's it for the Madolshi deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy. And at the moment, I'm trying to make a scripted discussion video. And of course, I'm trying to build more decks to profile on this channel. At the moment, it's just been slow because funds, my funds are running dry. And at the moment, I'm trying to save up for the new Xbox. But... I hope I can get you guys another video out soon. So, have a good one and see you next time.